Guten Morgen, Schüler. Today we are going to talk about family vocabulary. In German, family is die Familie. Die Familie. Alle zusammen. Die Familie. We're going to start off with parents, brothers, sister, and siblings, and that kind of stuff. So, first off, we have die Eltern. Die Eltern. That's the parents. Alle zusammen. Die Eltern. Der Vater is the father. Der Vater. Die Vetter would be the plural. Fathers. Die Vetter. Die Mutter is the mother. Die Mutter. Die Mütter, with an umlaut, is the plural form, the mothers. Die Mütter. Der Stiefvater would be the stepfather. Der Stiefvater. Die Stiefvetter would be the stepfathers. Die Stiefvetter. Die Stiefmutter is the stepmother. Die Stiefmutter. Again, the plural would be die Stiefmutter. Die Stiefmutter. The child in German is das Kind. Das Kind. Die Kinder would be the plural. Die Kinder. The son is der Sohn. Der Sohn. The plural of which is Die Söhne. Die Söhne. The daughter is die Tochter. Die Tochter. The daughters would be die Töchter. Die Töchter. Stepson in German would be der Stiefsohn. Der Stiefsohn. The plural of that would be die Stiefsöhne. Die Stiefsöhne. Die Stieftochter would be the stepdaughter. Die Stieftochter. Die Stieftöchter would be the plural. Die Stieftöchter. Siblings in German is die Geschwister. Die Geschwister. Brother would be Der Bruder. Multiple would be die Brüder. Die Brüder. Die Schwester is the sister. Die Schwester. Die Schwester. The plural adds an N. Die Schwestern. Die Schwestern. Stepbrother would be der Stiefbruder. Der Stiefbruder. Die Stiefbrüder would be the plural. Die Stiefbrüder. Stepsister would be die Stiefschwester. Die Stiefschwester. Die Stiefschwester. Half siblings put the word halb in front. Der Halbbruder. Der Halbbruder. Plural. Die Halbbrüder. Die Halbbrüder. Die Halbschwester. Die Halbschwester. Die Halbschwestern. Die Halbschwestern. Onkel in German is der Onkel. Der Onkel. Plural, die Onkel. Die Onkel. That one doesn't change for the plural. The only thing that changes is the article from der to die. Die Tante. Die Tante. That's aunt. Die Tanten. Die Tanten.
for the plural. For cousin, there are several options. There is der Feta, der Feta, which is kind of a more general word for cousin. The plural of which would be die Fetaun, die Fetaun. A male cousin could also use the French word der Cousin, der Cousin. The plural is die Cousins, die Cousins. A female cousin would be die Cousine, die Cousine. Plural, die Cousinen, die Cousinen. A nephew would be der Neffe, der Neffe. Die Neffen, die Neffen, for the plural. Die Nichte, die Nichte, that's niece. Die Nichten, die Nichten, that's nieces. Grandparents in German would be die Großeltern, die Großeltern. Grandfather is der Großvater, der Großvater. Plural, die Großvetter, die Großvetter. Grandpa in German is der Opa, der Opa. Plural, die Opas, die Opas. Grandmother, die Großmutter, die Großmutter. Grandmothers, die Großmutter, die Großmutter. Grandma, die Oma, die Oma. Plural, die Omas, die Omas. Great grandparents add the prefix Ur before the Groß. Der Urgroßvater, great grandfather. Die Urgroßmutter, great grandmother. If you need more greats, such as a great 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 grandmother, that would be an Ur 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 Großmutter. Der Enkel is the grandson. Der Enkel. Der Enkel. The plural doesn't change, it just changes the article. Die Enkel. Die Enkel. The female version, die Enkelin. Die Enkelin. That would be a granddaughter. Plural, die Enkelinnen. Die Enkelinnen. That's granddaughters. For a more generic word, you can use das Enkelkind. Das Enkelkind. This is just grandchild. For plural, you use die Enkelkinder. Die Enkelkinder. Der Schwiegervater is a father-in-law. Der Schwiegervater. Der Schwiegervater. Father-in-law. Die Schwiegermutter. Die Schwiegermutter. As you can see, that would be a mother-in-law. Son-in-law would be der Schwiegersohn. Der Schwiegersohn. Daughter-in-law, die Schwiegertochter. Die Schwiegertochter. Brother-in-law, der Schwager, der Schwager. The plural, die Schwäger, die Schwäger. 
sister-in-law, die Schwägerin, die Schwägerin. Plural, die Schwägerinnen, die Schwägerinnen. Now that we have the vocabulary words for family members in German, we can use the knowledge that we already have about conjugation and a few verbs that we've learned, and we can now use these to make sentences about our family. This here is my family tree with myself, my wife, my two kids, my brother and my sister, my dad, my mom, and my grandparents. So that's my shortened version of my family tree. Das ist meine Familie. Das ist meine Familie. This is my family. Das ist meine Familie. Meine Frau und ich haben zwei Kinder. My wife and I have two children. Meine Frau und ich haben zwei Kinder. Meine Frau und ich haben zwei Kinder. Mein Sohn heißt Luke. My son's name is Luke. Mein Sohn heißt Luke. Mein Sohn heißt Luke. Meine Tochter heißt Sophia. Meine Tochter heißt Sophia. Sophia ist acht und Luke ist drei. Sophia is eight and Luke is three. Sophia ist acht und Luke ist drei. Sophia ist acht und Luke ist drei. Meine Geschwister sind Aaron und Ashley. Meine Geschwister sind Aaron und Ashley. My siblings are Aaron and Ashley. Meine Geschwister sind Aaron und Ashley. Mein Vater ist Todd. My father is Todd. Mein Vater ist Todd. Mein Vater ist Todd. Sein Vater ist mein Großvater. His father is my grandfather. Sein Vater ist mein Großvater. Sein Vater ist mein Großvater. Frank und Virginia sind meine Großeltern. Frank and Virginia are my grandparents. Frank und Virginia sind meine Großeltern. Frank und Virginia sind meine Großeltern. Ashley ist Luke's und Sophia's Tante. Ashley is Luke's and Sophia's aunt. Ashley is Luke's und Sophia's Tante. Ashley is Luke's und Sophia's Tante. Aaron is ihr Onkel. Aaron is ihr Onkel. Aaron is their uncle. Aaron ist ihr Onkel. Virginia ist Luke's und Sophia's Urgroßmutter. Virginia is Luke's and Sophia's great grandmother. Virginia ist Luke's und Sophia's 
Urgroßmutter. Virginia ist Luke's und Sophia's Urgroßmutter. A few things that I would like to draw attention to in these sentences. First of all, you'll see meine and mein. Mein is used in front of a masculine noun, so that's why I chose mein Sohn in number three, but meine Frau in number two. My son is masculine, so mein Sohn. My wife is feminine, so meine Frau. That's the first possessive that I used. The second one was sein in number eight. Sein Vater, his father. The same thing applies here. If I use this with a feminine noun, I could say seine Mutter, seine Mutter. The third possessive that I used is ihr. Ihr is both their and her. So no matter which one you're meaning, you can use that for both. So in this case, I used it as their, but if it's just Sophia's uncle, it could also just be ihr Onkel. Again, if you have a feminine noun, add an E to the end of that to make it ihre. Ihr Onkel, ihre Tante. You'll also notice that I used a few possessives in here, like Luke's und Sophia's, but there are no apostrophes in German for possessives. There are apostrophes for other reasons, but not for possessives. So, Luke's und Sophia's, Tante, does not require an apostrophe there. I also used a variety of verbs. I used ist in the first one, which is a form of the verb sein, ich bin, du bist, er, sie, es, ist, and then I also used the same verb later on and said sind, s-i-n-d. Frank und Virginia sind meine Großeltern. That one is for the they form, sind. It's all the same verb. I also used haben, ich habe, Du hast, H-A-S-T, er, sie, es, hat, he, she, it, has, H-A-T, hat, and then sie haben, they have. I also used the verb heißen, and I used the er, sie, es form here, so I used heist, H-E-I-S-S-T, heist. -E 